Right, first one, we're going to take dy dx, so the derivative of y with respect to x, of each of these things. Number one, we have y is equal to 5. To do power rule, we need the exponent of x, and we know that x to the 0 is equal to 1. So if we have 5x to the 0, that's the same thing as 5. So when we go ahead and take the derivative of this, we're going to multiply the power times the coefficient. That's 0 times 5. That is going to give us 0. So dy dx is equal to 0 on that one. On number 2, we've got y is equal to x to the 4th. So dy dx. We're going to multiply the coefficient, which is 1, times 4. That'll give us 4. And then we reduce the power by 1. That'll give us 4x to the 3rd. Next up, number 3. We've got lots of great stuff here. We've got y is equal to 7x to the 8th plus 9x to the 4th plus 3x minus 15. So dy dx. We take 8 times 7, that's 56, times x to the 7th, plus 36, x to the 4th, plus, this is x to the 1st, so it's 3x, or 3 times 1, and then that leaves us x to the 0, so that just goes into 1, and then 15 is 15 times x to the 0, so that term goes away. So now let's take a look at number 4. We have y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 3 dy dx. It's going to be 2x. This is a 1. So this is going to be negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And x to the 1 minus a power is x to the 0, so that just becomes 1. And then 3 just goes away. So that's all we've got. And then this last one looks really awful until you write it a different way. This is the same thing as 3x to the minus fifth. So dy dx is equal to negative 15. And we're going to reduce the power by 1. So x to the minus sixth. 